Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. And, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to resize a piston and sleeve. So, the engine for the example today is this Trackstar. Um, as you can see, it just spins right over. try to do the, the compression test where you hold it just falls over so this engine is lacking compression uh, I'm gonna fix that so first uh, tear apart the engine Okay, so got the head off now. And yeah, there's no resistance. You can see the piston there. Hopefully. Just no resistance at all. So, yeah. I have this little piece of plastic from like a tackle box divider. I just bent the end of it like that. So it hooks into the exhaust port. Turn it over, comes right out. Okay, so the piston here, the sleeve. Line it all up. That's where it should stop. That's where the little dark ring is for compression. But no. It goes up past that, you can see it. And then also if you look at the exhaust port, you can see, there you go, you can see through the bottom of the exhaust port because the skirt of the piston came up higher than the bottom of the exhaust port. Okay, I've got the whole engine apart. I'll show you the crank too, so. Very simple. There are, there isn't a cut over here to help with um, counterweight. There isn't a cut on the leading edge to help with um, airflow inside the crank for it to cut through there aren't any cuts over here so I'm, and I'm pretty sure this crank window is pretty conservative so, it's a very basic engine but it does run really good now we are going to go on to the piston and sleeve resizing get my These are tools I use. I have the clamp. This is a 7 8 inch circle clamp. I don't know the technical name for it. I have a cut, uh, thin cutout of copper tubing with a notch in it. Um, this is 
three quarter inch inner diameter copper tubing. That's the size you need for a .21 sleeve. The notch is so when it starts clamping, it'll clamp evenly. So, put this in here. And this clamp uses an Allen wrench, which is why I have that. And I have this for extra leverage if I need to. Just because different engine brands have different slightly different outer diameters of their sleeves so the amount that this can squeeze it differs so if i need just a little bit more um clamp then i use extra leverage i'm actually gonna put this on here first This clamp is actually the perfect size where the piston won't fall through or the sleeve won't fall through. But if your sleeve or clamp fits differently, just make sure this top lip part of the sleeve isn't inside the clamp. Because then your, your head button won't fit if you clamp that part. So then tighten it down just a little bit. Another thing, the notch on the sleeve that is used to align it in the uh, crankcase, I put that here and then each time I clamp it, I'll untighten it, rotate it 90 degrees, line it up with this, and then here, and then here. Just so that ensures the most even pinch. I tighten it up just a little bit, I go to put the piston in. There is some resistance. So I'm not gonna put it all the way up to the pinching point. I'm just gonna put it a little bit low, below, as you can see there, if the lighting will allow for it. There, you can see it's not too far in there. There, right there is a good spot to see it, if it'll focus. And then I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit. I don't wanna go too, too tight on it. Cause you can always make it tighter, but you can't really undo the tightness. If you make it too tight, it's not too fun. It's not too much of a worry. It'll just be harder to start and it'll require a more thorough break in. Just go back and forth in between them. You tighten it down a little bit. Tighten down that side a little bit. Just to make sure the clamping is even. So that is the first stage of clamping. Possibly the only stage if it's to the right tightness. So line it up right there. Hopefully the lighting is good on there. 
Okay. Hopefully, okay, there you go. So, as you can see, no resistance the whole stroke. And then right there, you get resistance. Kind of just stops right there. So this will be a little, little tight to start for breaking, but main thing is that the pinch isn't starting. Cause right, okay, so right there is the exhaust port right here, and a lot of times with pinch on a brand new OS or something, the pinch starts right around there, just above the exhaust port. Probably like one, two millimeters above. And it's super tight all the way till top dead center. But with this, it's free the whole time and it gets tight. Looks about two, two and a half millimeters before top dead center. So that's a good repinch right there. So, yeah, that's how you repinch a piston sleeve for a nitro engine. And you can do this with any, um, any size engine. You just need to know the outer diameter of your sleeve. So you know what size copper tubing to look for. And then know the outer diameter of the copper tubing and then get that size clamp like this. See if I can find the clamp and I'll put the link in the description of the video. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Okay, so this is the repinched track star. Um, this is cold. So I'm not gonna do it for long, but I'm just gonna show you that it's not too tight because this uh, ProTech Sure Start starter box is able to turn it over. I already tried it once and it does sound like it gets bogged down a little bit from the tightness, but I I always preheat my engines when I break them in, so yeah, it's just a... it, It's super bogged down. But I also think the wheel, oh there. The wheel doesn't perfectly align with it. No, it looks like it does.